What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We're going to be checking out a little indie game today called Bronze Age, which is actually an interesting little city builder. It kind of remembers me, it reminds me of the old city builders that used to be on Super Nintendo and like Sega Genesis where it's like basic. But at the same time, like Populous and stuff like that, I could see myself playing a lot of it when I was a kid. So, without further ado, let's check out Bronze Age and bake some bricks, yo. Alright, so we don't need to know about Nanash, goddess of knowledge and prophecy. I don't care about you, Nanash, go away. So what we have right here is these are our little guys, and actually we can move around. I'm going to go to inspect mode so that it's paused for right now. Uh, we've got this little coastline. These are our little dudes. We've got Fog of War, so this will unclear as we start to build our city and make it a little bit larger. Uh, these are our citizens. We've got six of them for right now as we go through the game. There might be seven, actually. Two of them might be stacked. Uh, they've all got names, so there's Anteron, there's Enwa, there's Oldethent. It's a difficult name. Uwan. That sounds like some kind of thing from physics. Orth, and not not. I don't know, Orth sounds like the only person there that might be like a realistic human. Oh, we need to settle in a location, so our city will be right here. And so, you will see they'll start to move over here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to construct a brickworks. Two brickworks is in fact, because I find that with two you get a lot more done. And so we'll shift click those on down and our little workers will go in and they'll create brickworks. Uh, the brickworks, as it sounds like, gives you bricks so that you can build pretty much everything in the game. Uh, for right now, what we need is houses, because everybody's homeless. And if everybody's homeless, they don't tend... Like, you don't get immigrants if everybody's homeless, because nobody wants to live in your crappy little tent village. They want to come live that modern life. And so, as you can see, little guys are going to go in there and start baking up bricks. They will start moving these bricks around and taking them to the plots. If we right-click on each of these, it'll tell you how many materials are on each one, and how long it's going to be before they use it. Uh, this house is owned by Anteron. And so, as you can see, it'll slowly start to assign houses to people. Uh, this game is in development right now. I'll give you a link down below because I believe it is free to play. You can play it right now as it develops and as it adds new features and stuff like that. I think it was made for like a game jam or something like that, but it actually turned out to be a pretty fun little game. After we get the houses down, we're going to want to start thinking about a few other things. And so there's two more houses getting built, and inside of our construction menu, I would highly recommend that we make a tower right now. So I'm going to make a north-facing tower right here on the back side of my city. And this should be able to fire arrows because there are going to be enemies that see your prosperity and they kind of want to take it from you. They'll be like, yeah, I'm super salty about the fact that you have super awesome territory over here and you've been printing out all that money. You've been stacked. Look at those clay bricks that they have over there. How could I not be jealous? When a man has too many clay bricks, that's when Neanderthals have to go to war with each other. They'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you trying to hoard all those bricks, homie? Player? Uh, I'll probably put in a farm like I'm trying to keep everything inside the range of the tower So I'll probably put a farm in right there. They can build that basically out of nothing We'll talk about how we can stock up food and other resources in a little bit Obviously this game doesn't have like a huge graphical draw But then at the same time there's a huge group of people that play stuff like Neo Scavenger, Dwarf Fortress, uh, Nomoria I mean, there are tons of people that play games like those and don't care about the graphics at all. And so I figured I'd show this game off so that you guys could get a feel for it. Uh, there goes our first tower. He's going to have that built in just a minute. The function of a tower is exactly what it sounds like. It shoots arrows at people. Uh, you press K when you're moused over the tower, and then it'll keep it manned so that one of your civilians just hangs out in there. And if anybody attacks, he'll be able to be like, flip, 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 and he'll fire arrows at people. And these guys suck at fighting in melee, so don't ever let them fight in melee. Instead, you want to set up towers every now and again to protect yourself, to protect your neck, like Wu-Tang said. Uh, in order to use this field properly, we need a bakery, so I'm going to put in a bakery right there. And we're going to wait for our first invasion. I'm going to go to the work designations menu, and I'm actually going to have them start placing roads, because your little minions, they move twice as fast if they're on roads. And once they start moving stuff around and hauling a lot, that double speed actually adds up a ton. And so there it is. Uh, they should get to work building roads and stuff like that, and they'll be able to move around quite a bit quicker. We don't have any storehouses or anything like that, so I haven't set up what our surpluses are going to be or anything. But there you go. Lovely little brick loads, or not brick loads, but brick roads. There we go. I can say R's and L's. I know the difference between the two. I know my letters, no matter what my kindergarten teacher says. Uh, it looks like they missed a spot right there. Why'd you miss a spot? Is that designated? Oh, it's not. Okay, we'll put a road over there then. There we go. He'll start planting a field over here because we now have a bakery. And what we want to do is, I actually need to come up with some storage solutions too. So let's make a storehouse. Uh, the storehouse will be right here. And in fact, I might make two of them. Let's go ahead and make a couple of storehouses. 
so that no matter what happens, we've actually got a couple of places where we can load up on sundries, and then we can trans them. We can transfer that over to trade houses, and then we can have people come in. Uh, what's my homelessness looking like? My settlement information. We've got 14% homelessness, so we are going to build some more houses too. Uh, there was our first auto save, so that means we've probably got an invasion coming in pretty soon. It's not too bad in the beginning of the game. You just got to make sure that you put down towers before it gets too bad. Uh, if you dither around and you end up building a bunch of houses and just sprawling out and not building defenses, you can definitely get wiped by the first invasion. It took me a couple of tries to figure out what this game was getting at. But after I started working on it, it turned out okay. We'll put a road up to right there. And everything here should be inside of the range of this tower that I've placed. And so I'm not really going to do too much more. I'm going to tell them to cut these trees over here so that we've got building space. But other than that, they're probably not going to do a whole lot. Now that we have storage space, I'm going to go to the Settlement Info tab. And I'm going to say that I want them to have 20 mud bricks in surplus. I want them to have 20 food in surplus. And that should be good enough for right now. Uh, aside from that, they will only produce things. If you don't set this up, they will only produce things as they need them. Which means if there's any kind of like weird famines or anything, you'll find yourself in trouble, so you should probably stock some things up. Uh, if you've never played the game before, I'm going to talk about the controls. Pretty much everything is done in old ASCII format, where you just press a letter to get it done. You can move around using the arrow keys, and if you wanted to move a whole bunch by, like, three skips, you can hold down shift with your left hand and hit the arrow keys to move around. The map is fairly large, and in fact, it looks like we have a mountain range on this map, which I've never seen before. Oh yeah, we do. I've never seen a mountain range before. I've played two or three campaigns now, and I've never seen a mountain range. I do like this game, actually. It's a fun little game once you catch the hang of it. It's weird that we haven't been attacked yet. I was really expecting to be attacked already. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna build some houses then. Screw it! We'll throw that in right there. And then while we wait for that, I will also place some roads over on this side. So that people can continue to move around quickly. There it is. Uh, an enemy has been sighted, so we've got a notification right here. We're going to want to sound the alert by pressing the A key or by clicking on the box over here. The game is nice because it gives you a choice. If you wanted to play with a mouse and keyboard, you can, or you can just play with a keyboard. Either way, it's completely and totally manageable. I did keep this man, didn't I? Yeah, so somebody should be inside of this tower right now, or this little guy's going in there. But somebody should be... Oh, here they come through the forest. And so they're little... They're shy guys. The bad guys are actually shy guys. At least they kind of look like shy guys to me, but there goes arrows... And they're dead. So we'll dismiss the alert so people can get back to work. I always wanted to get a badass Viking horn. Like everything, I was like, I could walk out into the living room and be like, Wife, I leave for the store. I would signal pretty much everything I do in life with a... It'd make me happy. And you gotta be happy in this life. If you can't be happy in this life, what's the point? So the roads are set up. Uh, the thing that I would have them work on now is building a south tower. So let's go there and we'll do a south facing tower that's like right here. That should be good enough. And then we'll designate some work on road placement right here. So there it is. So that they'll have a road, they're laying those down right there. Nobody's chopping trees or anything like that right now. Uh, the first attack normally designates which direction you're going to get hit from every single time. But on some maps, I've seen myself get hit from opposite directions every now and again on alternating battles. It, it can be difficult to tell. Like, last game I played, I only got hit from the south over and over and over and over again. And then the game before that, I got hit from every direction. And so I had to have towers on, like, every side. And so it was very difficult to tell. Uh, where things were going to come from on any given playthrough. They got nine mud bricks put in right there. My homelessness should be zero, right? Good. Uh, you want your homelessness to be zero because that means more people will come to visit you. You can't rotate buildings or anything like that as far as I know. Uh, I would keep them to one construction task as well. The game is currently in development. It was made for like a game jam. And so sometimes the little villagers can do weird stuff. Like I've had them just like get confused. If you make too many building projects, they seem to get stuck like going in between them and not deciding what they want to do. And then they get nothing done. They'll sit around just like walking in between them going, Aah! there's too many buildings. So what I would suggest is that you have them work on like one to two projects at a time. And until those projects are done, don't stress about it. Uh, we've got enemies sighted, actually. Hopefully they aren't coming from the south. If they are, we got major issues. I don't see them over here. There they are. They're coming in from the north. Okay. I can live with that. Uh, let's sound the alarm. So that'll make everybody run inside their homes. And then it'll have somebody come down here and man the tower as well. Hopefully they come at that diagonal right there, because we've got to be able to get them with arrows. If they decide to hit like this over here... 
like come around that way and try to attack the building that's not completed yet. I don't think the AI is that smart, but can you tell? This feels like one of those old Super Nintendo strategy games, right? I don't know, it's fun. The developers have said that they're planning on adding stuff so you can rubber band box soldiers and things like that, and so, you know, they're working on it. Uh, the attacks are going to be fairly frequent from now on in, so you should probably get ready for that. Uh, they've got mud bricks over there. They should be grabbing those and bringing those down to the tower pretty soon, unless they're just going to stockpile them. I hope not. They should, yeah, bring, bring mud bricks down here. We only need one more for this tower to be done, and then you can actually build it. What, notification? There ain't no notification. What are you talking about, enemy sighted? There ain't no enemies up in this piece. Unless I'm very wrong, I don't see any enemies. We're the wheat hammer camp. Apparently we hammer our wheat. It's better than hammering your meat, so you know. You gotta take what you can get. I'll go ahead and I'll throw them in there so that it's always manned, and if I see enemies around... It says there's enemies coming, but I don't see them. Can you show me where they're at? I'll sound an alert just in case, but I don't see anything. Oh, there they are. They're coming in from that direction. Oh, wow. Okay, so I gotta build a tower over there, too. Unfortunately, there's no room to build a tower over here. And I don't think the tower can attack that far. Oh, it can. Good. Good. Uh, can I fix this over here? This house is unowned and heavily damaged. All right. Well, deconstruct the house then and we'll rebuild it. And let's turn off the alert. The house has been damaged. I haven't figured out how to, like, fix a house yet. I don't know if that's a thing that you can do as of right now. Like, I don't know if that's a thing that can actually be accomplished. And so we'll just knock the house down for the moment, and then we'll tell them to build, like, another one right there. And another one. Now, they should start chopping down trees over here. We can get a lumber yard to convert that into planks, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, my recommendation would be that we start getting walls built as well. So I'm going to get a horizontal wall. We're going to throw that in right there. And actually a horizontal wall from this direction with, like, another... Another like gate or maybe something else over here. We gotta pick a side of our we gotta pick a side of our settlement to actually be like the main side of our settlement. Oh yeah, we ride pigs. Like you farm pigs in this game and they get like pig riders and stuff. It's pretty sweet. We've got storehouses, we got bakeries, we've got walls. Another tower is probably in order. Unfortunately, I don't have space to build one until we knock out all these trees over here. And so I'll try to put one right here, and then we'll have a wall that runs this way. And we'll just sort of self-contain for the moment. We'll make, like, inner rings and outer rings of the city until it's ready to go. Uh, they already got that done. I would like, with the work designations, uh, move as many workers over to chopping trees as possible. Because we don't have any other jobs right now, so... You know, go chop some trees. Get it done. There we go. It seems like they sleep every now and again. Like, all your little dudes will run inside of their huts and then not come out for a while. I don't know exactly what that means, but oh good, we've got another attack coming in. That'll be fun to deal with, because we still haven't chopped all of the trees that we need to chop. Hopefully it's coming from the north. If it ain't, this is going to suck. Uh, let's cut all these trees over here, too, so I can build a tower and a wall and just get it done for right now. Uh, we're probably going to store up way too much lumber from doing this, but I can't help that. Uh, go ahead and sound the alert so that everybody goes to their fighting positions and then we'll shoot these guys as they come in. We'll finish off deforesting that area over there. What do you think? I don't know. Some people won't like the minimalist aesthetic. For me, it's tremendously like this reminds me of old games I used to play on like the Apple IIe and whatnot when I was growing up. And so my dad got an Apple IIe one time because my dad was a contractor, a roofer. And one time a guy traded him an Apple IIe for some work. And so, like, we had a computer for a little while, and then he sold it after, like, people stopped using it at the house. Uh, dismiss the alert, and then hopefully they'll finish off all the trees over there. I've got maximum workers on it, so they should get the job done pretty quickly. So we have more enemies coming in. The attacks are pretty frequent in this game. I would probably taper them down slightly so that the player gets to get used to, like, building and playing around and whatnot. Uh, you do get attacked a lot in this game. Hopefully they're not coming down the coast. Oh, shit, they are. Okay, sound the alert. Everybody get to your battle positions. Battle stations! Battle stations! We should be able to get them before they even get here. Yeah, there we go. So they're down. We'll dismiss that alert. And as soon as they get the trees done over here... Oh, there's still a bunch more trees. Alright, keep working on your trees. Okay, so we actually have a notification. I'm all out of storage space. Uh, they filled up everything with logs, and so that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to put a north-facing tower. 
right here, maybe? Right there would work, too. I mean, it's a little janky, but that's what I think I'm going to do. With the work designation, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down so that only, like, two workers work on stuff like chopping trees and whatnot. And we'll have everybody else start carrying mud bricks over to this spot so that they'll get that tower built. Because if we don't get that up pretty soon, what I'd like to do is it's probably going to be, like, a dick-shaped settlement over here. Like, I, not intentionally, but it's going to be, like, cylindrical and move out this way so that we can keep... Because it looks like all the attacks are going to be coming from the north. I put in a south tower just in case. But if all the attacks come from the north, I'm just going to have to focus on fortifying that. They've already got seven mud bricks in. Okay. Well, if we get attacked right now down the coast, it's going to suck. But what can you do? Sometimes that's just the way she goes, Rick. That's just the way she goes. Lady of the road. The lady of the road. I don't see anybody out this way, which is great. Next attack is coming in from right there, which means we should be able to get this tower built without any problems. We also haven't got any new immigrants, actually. Strangely enough, I was expecting new immigrants to come in, and then it just kind of never happened. I will sound the alert over here in just a moment. There we go, so that people will go to their battle stations and get ready for war, and everybody else will hide inside their houses so they don't get meleeed to death. Uh, they're going to start struggling with the invasions, though, pretty soon. So, the next project is more than likely going to be a new tower out the other way. Yeah. There is a tribe member inside. It is lightly damaged. Okay, I can live with that. We'll get this tower done, and then we'll build another one, like, right here, so that they've got to crash into both. And regardless of the way they decide to hit us, we'll dismiss that alert. That should be done. So, someone should head over there to fix that. I will do the same thing over here. We'll get a north-facing tower on this side. So one, two, three, four in between them. This may change the trajectory of how they decide to attack us. Oh, dude, we got enemies already again? Jesus, man. Enemy attacks are a little over the top in this game, but I can live with it. Uh, let's keep this manned. And we will sound an alert. We haven't gotten any immigrants, though. And until we start getting immigrants, we're going to not have the manpower we need to actually take care of all the jobs that need to get done. It'll tell us once we get immigrants, too. And a little notification will pop and be like, yay, you've got immigrants. It's like the old AOL thing, like, you've got immigrants. Luckily, they move slowly through forests, so... Should be able to handle it, no problem. Dismiss that alert. Oh, shit, is that immigrants right there? What do these guys do? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Please tell me those are not immigrants. That's way too many. Dude, if those are all immigrants, holy bejeebus. Oh my god, they are. They're all immigrants. Good lord. Okay, well then. uh, We gotta, we gotta get on top of this. Apparently we've had a flood of immigration. On the plus side, that flood of immigration will give us a bigger workforce so that we don't have to worry about, like, running out of materials or anything. But at the same time... Uh, let's just start hauling things all over the place and seeing what we can get done. Uh, we'll place a road right here. We will get a road placed right there. Let's get a nice little road in right here. Maybe a road going down right there to right there. And now that people have stuff to work on, I think we're probably going to have food supply problems. So I will more than likely build another farm too once we get onto it. Uh, we also want to start getting the walls into play. I'm actually pretty concerned about them getting this stuff done before the next attack comes in. Uh, how big are the gates, out of curiosity? I don't think I've ever built a gate so far. So if we've got a north-facing gate, it's like that big. Okay, that's workable. I'll probably make our gate north-facing then, and the rest of it'll just be us building stuff. Well, we've got enough soldiers now, so that's good. We've also got houses coming in, and so homelessness should be on the DL pretty soon. Uh, food, on the other hand, is probably going to be bad. We've got 16 foods stored up because they've been cooking in the kiln over here. But we're probably going to have to expand that out a little bit. I'm going to put a bakery right there. I'm going to put in another farm. Ah, shit, it just barely doesn't fit. That's upsetting because I really wanted it to fit. We'll put in another farm right here. Uh, notifications. We have enemies sighted. Let's go ahead and get that manned. And then I will call out for... I mean, we've got enough immigrants right now to where we can fight hand-to-hand -hand if we really need to. Like, there's a lot of people that just came in. I wasn't expecting this many people to join our settlement this time around. Uh, where are we getting hit from? Right there. And nowhere else? Just two little invaders? Or are there more of them? 
Oh, there's three of them. One little, two little, three little assailants. All right, everybody inside. And hopefully we start firing arrows at this thing. Because if we don't, they're definitely going to make it to the ta Oh, they damaged my field, you little bastards. Okay, so let's start getting the walls built. I think that's going to be the next most important part. So we're going to go horizontal walls right here. And actually, I forgot the shift click. I want walls, horizontal walls. Put those horizontal walls all against my balls. There we go. That might be too much wall. I'm a little worried about it, but... We'll try it out for right now with a vertical wall right there. We'll take that downwards. I'll probably put in another tower right here once they start getting that put together. And then we need a gate right there, which means our city's going to grow to the north, I guess. But our city's already getting pretty grandiose. I'm fairly happy with the way things are going so far. With the two brick makers, we should be all right down there, too. I will also construct the... So with the walls, I want a north-facing gate. And I want it right there, please. We will probably get attacked one more time before we get it done. But I love the hustle and bustle of the game. Like, it's low poly, and it doesn't really have great graphical representation. But at the same time, I very much love the fact that the game, like, everything starts to grow. And you end up with, like, a really big settlement very rapidly. What is our homelessness looking like? We got, like, one guy who's homeless. Poor bastard. He drew the short straw. Now he gets to be the village homeless guy. Music's pretty good, too, although it's actually generic placeholder music that's done by Kevin McLeod. If you guys don't know who Kevin McLeod is, he does, like, all the music on the internet, basically. Uh, we will place roads over here. Uh, we will place roads right there. Oh, it looks like the roads are one off right there. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. That's okay, though. We'll connect everything like so. And like so. There we go. It's got to have lots of jobs for people to do. Otherwise, ain't nothing ever get done. All right, so our walls are starting to get put together. We've got enemies sighted, so sound the alert. And we will wait and see where we're getting attacked from. Oh, we're getting attacked from a pretty sketchy spot, actually. That corner is the weak spot. Once I get the wall in, I might put a second tower down there, just because if they hit that corner, that's absolutely a defensive weak spot for us. A very defensive weak spot. Yeah, I'll put in a second tower over here. Let me get the work designations, and we'll cut these trees right here, and I'll put in a second. We'll just do side-by-side -side towers right there in case they decide to amass along that front. Uh, they do have to attack through forest, which is going to take them a little bit to get here. Looks like they're spreading out, too. Yeah, we got them just in time. Oh, wow, they're actually stacked up on each other. Uh, it's lightly damaged. Okay, uh, construction-wise, let's do a north-facing tower. Right there. Uh, we just won't conclude the wall right there, I guess. We'll just have another tower on this side. And then with work designations, we will place a road that goeth to there. A road goeth through it and all that kind of stuff. We'll dismiss the alert so that work starts getting done. And then in addition, the next thing that I would want to see is I want to see horizontal walls in between here, here. And it's a bummer, but you can't actually get like three spaced walls, I don't think. Yeah, and so you've actually got to space things out by hand a lot of the time. Uh, so I'll have to knock down some trees and put it right there. And maybe I'll just double space it so it looks a little bit more natural. So let's go to the work designations menu. We will cut trees. Ramya. Oh, the gate is up. Wow, that's actually really cool pixel art right there. I've never built one of the gates before. That's pretty sweet. Can I close it? Oh, sweet. I can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep it manned over here. I don't know if that counts as an archery thing, but keep it manned. We've got more than enough civilians. We've got civilians running around everywhere. We've got like 17 population right now, so I wouldn't even stress about it. And then once we get these trees chopped, we'll put in a double thick wall right there just to kind of make up for the fact that we could do better. I'm also going to keep open corners on each side of the wall so that if I need to add more towers, I can. I'll probably put in another gate right here so that we can expand in whatever direction we want. But southward expansion is probably the safest because as of right now, I'm fairly positive that every single attack has come from the north. And so anyways, this game's called Bronze Age. Uh, let me know if you liked it. I can do a little bit more. I have no problem with it. I like this game a lot. This game, I've been having a ton of fun with it. It's simple and there's not a whole lot there yet. But at the same time, it is an enjoyable little title to play if you enjoy stuff like Dwarf Fortress and whatnot. 
It's obviously not at that level of complication. It's not even at the level of complication of like Nomoria or whatever. But still, it's a competent little city builder. I mean, it's as good as City Clickers, for example. It's got more to do than City Clickers. And I love City Clickers. So check it out down below. I got a link in the description for you. If you like the indie games that I show off here on the channel, uh, be feel absolutely free to... Oh, they're actually attacking that right there. So I'm going to have to put a tower in. Well, shitty, Maka. That sucks. They're going to break my wall. Little bastards. Well, fine then. I don't want to have a wall there anyways. Little pricks. I'm going to sound the alert. They're just going to sit over here and chisel away at my walls, I'd figure. Ah, well. Oh, there goes some arrows. There's some There's some defensive positions. Nice job, guys. Way to not fall asleep on the job. Getting all my walls bulldozed. Sigh. All right. We'll do a uh, west-facing tower right here. Just to show the enemy we be business, and then I will see you all next time. Thanks for stopping on in. This is called Bronze Age.